I honestly can't stand the rain in London. My face just feels like puffy today. Me and Christina are walking to get some food. We're gonna go into Vapiano's. We're in central London. I said to Christina, let's meet. I haven't seen you in like over six months. How long has it been? Six months. Six months. That's my best friend, by the way, I'm talking about. Hey. I talk to her every day. We text each other. We call each other. She's always there when I'm like crying over the phone. Oh. I'm so hungry guys, so we're gonna go and eat and then what we're gonna do is go do some shopping. Oh my god, I hate buses, so loud. So guys, we're at Rappiano's now. I do love this place. If you haven't been, it's located off Great Portland Street. It's my favourite restaurant so far. I come here all the time with my friends. Someone's calling me to answer my phone right now. I'm sorry, guys. So it's Christina's birthday last month on the 7th of July. Literally, that's month ago. Yeah, it was. And then we haven't even been out. Like, I'm so bad. I haven't even seen her. We just come to H&M because it's raining. I need to get some clothes. I love shopping. I would have changed my whole wardrobe. That's really nice. I like that. That's really nice. I'd wear that. This is so nice. This is what I like. That is amazing, guys. I want this. Guys, look at this. This is very nice. This is very nice. It's only 20 pounds. You can't go wrong with H&M. I do love H&M. This jumper is from Zara. I actually like it. It's really comfortable, but I used to get a nipple slip sometimes. Like, my nipples slip out. And I'm wearing skinny jeans from Top Man. Have you found anything? That's nice. What are these ones? You actually know this. There's not enough space for my toes. Have you, got, have you got fat toes? No. You have. I don't like. I like my toes to be covered. I, I just found that Christina has fat feet and fat toes. Eh? <laughs> so as I'm a broke bitch at the moment, I am window shopping. Window shopping. That's actually nice. I'd probably wear something like this, but that would be matching with you, Christina. That would be twins. Nice. We'll be twins. Twins. <laughs> twins. camera world I just want to check for lenses and I need to get a road mic for my Canon HD as I'm gonna be doing sit down videos I need to make sure that my uh, voice volume and the sound is perfect so I'll show you guys what we're getting up to here oh honey dropped so I finally just bought a road mic which I needed to buy one because my quality of sound is really bad when it comes to doing sit down videos oh, I'm really excited to use it guys we're just walking trying to find a place to shoot. How nice is that office? Oh my, oh my god, it's like an interior design house, something like that. We're trying to find a nice place to shoot. Anyone who knows anywhere in London that we can shoot, let me know, please. So Christina does a lot of writing. She wants to write some stories as she's a storyteller. Um, story maker, story maker. Da -da 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 -da. She's at an Apple store now and she wants to get a MacBook Pro. That's cheap enough for MacBook Pro, Christina. The new one. Why are they flat? Why are they so flat? Apple, what have you done to the new keyboards? Like, they're like so crazy. You want that one? I don't. It feels small to me. All of my friends who have 13 inch ones, but the older ones, they're like I've got bigger. 13 inch, but older ones. Yeah, you're Should I tell you why it's bigger? bigger? Because it's like more wider. It's Tottenham Hell. Not anymore. Why? You used to be able to get a bus of seven sisters, but you can't now. That's stupid. It only it stops in Sutton and then you have to change. It's too long. Hey, 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 I got something stuck on my nose. Oh no, it was a water print from the window. Okay, so I just come to see my little sister. I can't wait to see her. I've missed her so much, guys. The last time I saw her was, I think, like 
four weeks ago. I'm with my beautiful sister. Look how much she's grown. Hi guys. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, hi. I'm good. How old are you now, Salia? I'm 13. She's 13. Oh my god, 13 going on 40. <laughs> mm, I love you. I said it's 13 going on 30. I know, but I said 40. I watched it the other day, actually. Oh. I rewatched it after you. Guys, I love my sister so much. You look like a guy like this. You look like a long haired guy. I look like a ghost, actually. <laughs> we should do more. We should do videos together on this my channel. Yeah, we've been saying that for ages. Oh my god, I look like a ghost. You do. <laughs> I haven't seen my sister in ages, so let me come see her today. I love her. I love you too. What did you do today? I saw you had sushi. Yeah, I had sushi. Uh, I was trying to do something with her eyes. Oh my god, how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, both don't go on if I do this, but I can just do it. Do one go. Oh my god. How do you do that? How do you do that? What? What? He wants to go outside, Talia. He, he, he can go outside. He's not answering. Sally wanted me to take over his vlog. He is currently in the toilet. Doing very important business. You know what I mean. How yellow my teeth are. Ooh, I have a little spine on me. No makeup day today. In case you couldn't tell because I have like spots everywhere. And this week was I was on TV as well. Just watch guys and see. Photographer and stylist who has his own YouTube blog on men's makeup. And I note from your biography, you're also an eyebrow stylist. Tell me, where do you think all this growth is coming from? I think people online like us are showing people that men can wear makeup, men can start doing brows. And I feel like people are actually getting used to that now, so it's getting more accepted. Younger people? Younger people, older people, like mixed generations. I think it's getting more accepted and I think people are going to think it's more normal now. And it is going to be normal. So do you think when it comes to things like concealers for covering blemishes, have there been men for years who've just been too shy to go to makeup counters in the department store and they're, they're waiting for this? I think it's true because when I started wearing makeup, people were like, why is the guy wearing makeup? And you go into department stores and you see it's just brands with ladies on the screen or anything people can't actually relate to. As a guy, I would want to go in and feel comfortable seeing a guy on the screen wearing makeup so that can be more relatable. Okay, well we've been out and asked a few people what they think about this. Let's have a quick look at that. I don't like being enhanced my look. Made me feel good about myself, yeah. Just don't really consider it something I would wear. So that's it, really. Yeah, why not? Unless it's scary clothes. I'm male. Um, I believe that men don't wear makeup. So some people on board with it, some people not so much. Do you think in 10 years' time we'll look back and think the fact we had a news item on this was quite archaic? I think it's getting mixed reviews now, but in five years down the line, I think people are going to get up in the morning, like brush your teeth, put a face mask on, and start putting concealer on. It's going to be like a daily routine, and I think as years go on, even next month, you don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to change. Do you think men have been left behind all these years then? 100%. I think men have not been been able to like involve in this community and I think it's going to be really normal. I think if we continue the way we are now, it's going to be perfect. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to...